Welcome back to our weekly exploration of the cryptoverse. I'm Corbin Fraser, and in today's episode, we're celebrating a historic crypto event, diving into groundbreaking legislative developments, exploring geopolitical shifts, and uncovering the latest innovations in the Bitcoin ecosystem. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about Bitcoin Pizza Day and our exciting Pizza Day scratch and win campaign. So for those who don't know, Bitcoin Pizza Day commemorates the first real world Bitcoin transaction which took place on May 22nd, 2010, when Laszlo Hanez paid 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas. So back then, those Bitcoins were worth about $40, but today they'd be valued at around three quarters of a billion, which is a perfect illustration of the insane growth that Bitcoin has seen in the last decade and a half. So here's the, uh, the famous picture of Happy Laszlo with his, his cute kids and his uh, approximately billion dollar pizza. To celebrate this milestone, Bitcoin.com is hosting our Bitcoin Pizza Day Scratch and Win Contest, where you can spend some of Bitcoin.com's Verse token on provably fair digital scratch and win cards, giving you the chance to win over 8 million Verse, worth approximately $2,150 US dollars. So in the spirit of Laszlo, I'm going uh, to spend some Verse right now. So I've, uh, I've pre-minted one of these Verse Scratch and Win NFT cards. They're about 22,000 Verse. And uh, I'm going to just do a live scratch. The trick here is you got to match three numbers. And whatever three numbers you match, of course, of course you win. So I'm on track. It looks like this is maybe a 5K card. Wasn't a big winner. But even when you lose, you win. Still a celebratory moment. And it's, uh, it's all about spending crypto. This is something Bitcoin.com really encourages people to, to do. It's not just about HODL. There needs to be fundamental utility in crypto. And this is what we do here at Bitcoin.com. So if you want to try out the uh, Bitcoin Pizza Day Scratch and Win cards, go to scratcher.verse.bitcoin.com or go, just go visit Bitcoin.com within the wallet app. You can do it right inside the wallet app now. Easy, fun experience. And uh, you can gift these cards to friends and family, of course, and and and. and Encourage them to use crypto, maybe over a slice of pizza. So fun stuff out of the way. Let's move on to the monumental shift that's happening right now in the United States and the political landscape as it relates to crypto regulation. The U.S. House of Representatives has passed the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act, which is the FIT21 Act. It's marking a, a quote, Historic day for American consumers, investors, and innovators. So this landmark legislation, despite facing opposition from President Joe Biden and SEC Chair Gary Gensler, secured bipartisan approval with a vote of 279 to 136. Congressman French Hill, one of the bill's introducers, hailed the passage as a significant step towards creating a regulatory framework that protects consumers and investors while positioning the United States as a leader in blockchain innovation. So keep in mind that this legislation is still a long ways from becoming law. It has to go through the Senate, get signed by the president. There's probably some other steps that I'm missing because I'm not an American and don't understand that system fully, but it's nevertheless a monumental step in the, uh, in the right direction. So what I think is really important here is that we are starting to see crypto become a major political issue this election cycle. And that could have huge implications on the regulatory front. It seems certain politicians have finally realized that their anti-crypto stance might be costing them votes. And now they're backpedaling. So it's exciting to see how the U.S. election cycle plays out. Suddenly, for the first time in a very, very long time in the United States, it, it looks like the regulatory winds are maybe blowing in crypto's favor. So stay tuned as we follow this and other regulatory developments. But for now, let's focus on the shifting geopolitical landscape and how it relates to crypto. The International Monetary Fund has expressed concerns about the potential consequences of the United States potentially confiscating Russian assets abroad due to the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The IMF emphasized the need for due process and proper legal justification to avoid undermining the global financial system. So at the same time, the U.S. is also applying sanctions in an attempt to block financial transactions between Russia and China. Russian President Vladimir Putin calls those attempts really stupid and a huge mistake and points out that Russia and China will just evade them using smaller banks and crypto. 
So this situation highlights the growing narrative that the US dollar hegemony is in danger, which has long been a reason to buy and hold and use Bitcoin and crypto. So the confiscation of Russian assets and the growing attempts at sanctions could accelerate that narrative, could also accelerate initiatives seeking alternatives to the US dollar as a reserve currency, potentially boosting the adoption and importance of cryptocurrencies on the global stage. So now let's leave behind, uh, you know, all the politicians and all the, uh, the saber rattling and all the IMF, you know, updates. Those are always fun. Let's get back into some crypto tech updates. Uh, according to Tycho Onash, the co-founder of Zest Protocol, which is a Bitcoin lending solution, uh, new programming capabilities could propel Bitcoin's DeFi ecosystem beyond Ethereum's. As Bitcoin Layer 2 solutions become more trusted and widely used, they can enable decentralized finance applications that have so far been the domain of Ethereum and other smart contract uh, blockchains. Onash explains that the Bitcoin DeFi has the potential to surpass Ethereum DeFi because BTC is a superior asset to Ethereum. With the upcoming Stacks Nakamoto upgrade, Bitcoin DeFi could see significant uh, advancements allowing users to earn yield or borrow against their Bitcoin in a secure and efficient manner, which would be pretty cool. At Bitcoin.com, we would certainly love to uh, you know, support truly decentralized ways for people to earn yield on their Bitcoin, especially in a fully self-custodial manner. So we'll be following this closely and, and hopefully bringing these services to our wallet and our services at Bitcoin.com. As long as they're proven to be safe and secure and decentralized and trustworthy, we've seen some Bitcoin lending things in the past calling you out Celsius that weren't so good. So we like it fully decentralized here. Okay, finally, let's talk about uh, privacy and a new high APY farm opportunity on the Versdex. Bitcoin.com's decentralized exchange, Versdex, has launched their second WZANO USDT farm, offering an impressive APY of up to 150% for the next month or so. This initiative is the first step towards integrating the privacy-focused Xano token in the broader ecosystem. So for those who don't know, the Xano token ensures financial transactions remain confidential, which is uh, something that very much aligns with our commitment to financial freedom and privacy. By participating in the WZANO USDT farm, users can earn substantial rewards while supporting a privacy-focused blockchain. Xano's this new up-and-coming privacy blockchain. It's like Monero, but it's got tokens and it's got a whole bunch of growing community. It's a cool project. Probably worth checking out. Go check out Xano.org. Lots of, lots of fun stuff to learn there. But to get started farming that juicy yield, head over to verse.bitcoin.com or tap the earn button from the bitcoin.com wallet apps home screen. And that is it for today, folks. Thank you for joining us today as we navigate through these pivotal stories in the crypto world. Remember, staying informed and engaged is crucial as we continue to advocate for decentralized and self-sovereign financial systems. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, share it out, do the retweet thing, whatever it is. We're here to help you stay ahead of the, the, the world of crypto and Bitcoin. Till next time, keep your wallet safe and your minds open. See you guys later.